a very good morning class so today we will do narrative writing and uh, this will come for your periodic test too and this is a topic of your english writing that is narrative writing so let us start okay so first we'll do the meaning that what basically what what basically narrative writing is so narrative writing is writing that has a story so what is basically a narrative writing it is a writing and it has a story it has characters in it conflicts and other essential parts of a story that basically a story contains so narrative writing is often a synonym with a story however if you are writing a story of some kind so if you're writing any kind of story that is a narrative writing where the main thing is that the narrator has to tell a story or the narrator is telling the story next is definition that is narrative is a piece of writing that will tell a story it will also explain and will also analyze the ideas or the set of idea means the idea or the set of ideas which will attempt to persuade the reader means we as readers so that we can understand the point of view of that story and also we can make a visual experience while we are going through that story right or we can you can also say that narrative writing can be broadly defined as a story writing a piece of writing that is characterized by the main character in a setting who encounters a problem or engages in an a piece of writing that is characterized by the main character in a setting who encounters a problem or engages in an interesting significant or entertaining activity or experience okay and now we'll do the five main elements of a narrative writing so first is the plot what is a plot plot is the thread of events that occur in a story where plot is about a man who is get, who basically gets accidentally abandoned on the road so plot here is the uh, is the thread of event then comes the setting setting is the location of the event means the time and the place then are the characters the characters are the people in the story who drive the plot are impacted by the plot or may even be bystanders to the plot okay then is the conflict now conflict is the problem that is being resolved right plot needs a movement of tension which involves some difficulties that require solution the conflict basically is that thing then is the theme like the most important and uh, least explicit is the theme like what is the moral of the story what does the writer intend the reader to understand so that is the theme so these are the main five elements of a narrative writing that you all have to keep in mind whenever you're doing a you know any particular topic that that is related to narrative writing so narrative essay follows the storytelling linear plot and what the plot is first is the introduction right then is the rising action in middle comes the climax then the following falling action and at last there is conclusion so here it is basically divided into three parts the beginning the middle and the end so what does basically the beginning includes it basically includes or introduces the it, it basically introduces and describes the people place and time of a story next is the middle part that is in which we can uh, have several paragraphs can also describe more actions or activities and events involving your main characters are explained or expanded next is the end here it basically revolves the complication of the problem that is the end of the story you can also end it with a twist you can even leave a reader with a question or mystery and remind readers of the central message that is you can also give a mora moral at the end now there are a few things to remember that is first person and third person you can write it in first person also or in third person also you will always write the narrative writing you will always use past tense describe events chrono uh, chronologically right then you'll use less of dialogues you'll not use too much dialogues then you'll use sensory details like when describing something sight sound smell taste here you'll always use descriptive languages uh, like vivid verbs adjectives adverbs but don't overuse them so these are the basic overuse things. them so these are the basic things you have to remember while you're right while you're writing the narrative writing so i hope you have understood this much